day, ladies and gentlemen. I am back with another awesome lesson. We are going to make a sweet rocket in Tinkercad. So get in Tinkercad and start a brand new design and let's get cracking. So the first step, my friends, is to rename our rocket. And when you've got your rocket renamed, I want to make a four fin design. So simply bring out a cube. I'm going to switch to the home view so the work plane's back out in front. This is going to be four fins, like I said. If you want to do a six fin design or more, you could bring out the cool polygon tool from down here. We want to attach fins to this four sided shape, and then we'll change it to a cylinder in a minute. Click the work plane and pick the face where you want to do your first fin. And let's go down to all shapes. And on my page, I have to go to number five to find this sweet one called the NACA swept wing. When I bring that out, you'll notice it's rotated the wrong way. I'm going to use the cool fit view to selection so I can see it better. There's my rotation handle, and I can simply touch the long lines to snap it into a cool position. I'm going to zoom back out to the home view, switch around to the other side of the cube, press W and put the work plane there, and repeat the process for the other side. Bring my little fin out. Once again, fit view to selection so I can find that rotation handle and then rotate it using the close to the middle lines so it stands straight up and down. Rolling the scroll wheel back, selecting both fins. Notice it says two shapes. I do not have the cube selected and I want to align them on the up and down plane and I want to center them. And then lastly, I want to group them. At this point, I'm going to click on my cube and I'm just going to hide it. I'm going to click on the work plane and I'm going to set it back to the flat plane. Let's view it from the top and fit view to selection. I'm going to click on my two pieces and do control D. And then I'm going to simply rotate my new one 90 degrees. Once again, if I go to the middle lines, it rotates nice and easy and I'm able to have four fins in a heartbeat. Let's switch to a combo view so I can check out my amazing fins. I'm going to take those four fins and I'm going to group them so they stay together as well. Let's use the really amazing show all tool to bring back our cube and let's delete our cube and let's replace it with a basic shape that looks more like something that would be on a rocket like a cylinder. When you bring the cylinder out, because we did not change the size, it will just fit. So I've just selected everything and I'm doing center and center. Notice the cylinder fits inside, that all connects, and it's really ready for us to raise it up and turn it into a rocket. Let's add a nose cone to our rocket. You could use the cone, you could use the paraboloid, you could also go down to the all shapes and find something fancy in there as well. Under all shapes, if you search across, you'll find the OGIV on number three. You could also pick crazy things like a drill. I'm going to set my work plane to the top of my rocket. Let's bring that nifty OGIV out there. And because we haven't messed with any of the sizes, it actually just fits right from the get go. I'm going to do center and I'm going to do center. And look at that, we've got an amazing rocket in no time. Let's make an amazing engine for our shape. I'm going to first put the work plane back to the ground level. I'm going to go back to the basic shapes and I could find the cone or the paraboloid. I'm going to make it with the paraboloid. So that kind of looks like an engine shape. Watch this. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to push the duplicate down two millimeters and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to shrink it two millimeters. So see how it's 18 instead of 20? I'm going to turn that second one. So I'm going to fit view to selection here so I can see what I'm doing better. I'm going to click the second one that's lower. And I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to grab both by making a box that simply touches them both. I am going to center it left and right, but not up and down. And then when I group that, check out how awesome this looks underneath. It is a rocket engine. And then I could add those underneath my rocket. 
I can click on them and shrink them so they fit the size that I want. I'm going to add four engines real quick by doing Control D and just nudging them into space. Let's look at them from the top to make sure they're not bumping into each other. And they were. Control D and I'm going to move these other ones over to the right. And I'm going to just do that one more time. Then I'll group those and place them under my nifty rocket. Select them all so they're touching. Group. Switch to a top corner view. I've got one extra that I'm going to delete. Let's move them over so they're lined up with my rocket. I'm going to take the rocket and I'm going to group the pieces that are already together. So here I'm holding shift on the fins and the body. I want to make it a group, but I want it to keep its awesome colors. I'm going to do that by hitting multicolor. And then I'm going to just raise it up until it's above my nifty engines. I like that. And now I'm going to use that amazing align tool again switch to a top corner so I can see where I want to align it. I want to align it on this side and this side. Friends, there are tons of ways that you can customize this and make it more awesome. You can add as many fins as you want. You can add engines. You can go through the awesome shapes uh, that are in the all shapes and find terrain. Uh, there's an asteroid in there. Explore, have fun, see how epic you can make your rocket. Thanks for watching. Friends, if you enjoyed this movie, please click that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. And if you have a question or a comment, please add it down below. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.